everyone, this is Ebony and welcome to M Fashion. So if you saw the title of the video, we know that we are about to get into my life, what has been going on, what is coming up, and what does this mean? I'm also going to be giving myself a facial today and I am using the same tools that I've always used. So if you want to know what those tools are and get them for yourself, please refer to my video that I made, I guess two years ago and it'll have the links. It'll pop up at the end of this video as like a suggested video, so go ahead and click on that as soon as this video is done. All right guys, so before we get into the nitty gritty, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the bell button to know when my videos drop. All right guys, so I'm gonna start steaming my face first and let's just get into it. All right guys, while I'm steaming my face, I'm just giving it kind of a pre-cleansing with my micellar water. I am using the Garnier. I ran out of my house urban one and unfortunately it's discontinued so I have to find another black owned brand that has micellar water to add to my routine. All right guys, so this year I turned 30 and just like the video states, me and Chris are moving back to Texas and we are indeed moving in with my parents. Now, we're actually kind of excited to move back. It's happening sooner than we thought it would, but what can you do since everything that's been going on for the last year? There's really not much you can do in this situation when you are a professional musician. I just got a little closer so you guys can see what my face is doing and what the products are doing. As I said before, we are excited. Now, we are excited about being back with people we've grown up with, our family, our friends, a lot of connections we made back in Texas before we left to pursue our careers. Um, and let's be real, reduce rent, because if your parents care about you, <laughs> or um, if it's possible, you know, if they're able to do this, Nine times out of 10, you know, they they don't charge you what you would char be charged at a apartment or a home or whatever to stay there. Um, and then you offer to help around the house and things like that. So um, the reduced rent is real. Another thing that is reassuring and nice is actually having a support system like close to you. When you are moving to places that you don't know anyone or you don't have anyone near you that you can rely on when things go south or if something happens. Um, it can be nerve wracking a bit, especially when, you know, nobody can really do anything and you're all on your own and you have to figure things out and take care of yourself. You also feel better about being back home because there are things that do happen in your family and with your friends and you want to intervene, you want to help, you want to be there. But when you're so many miles away, it's kind of impossible. Next, I'm getting my Iconic Cream Cleanser from House Urban. Now, I say all that to say, those are really great pros to moving back home. But I can't lie when I say that I am kind of worried about living with people again. It's something about having your own space, kind of doing what you want to do, being how you want to be in your own space as far as like, you know, do you want to wear clothes today? Do you don't? Stuff like that. Like, there's a certain freedom to that that is hard to give up when you decide to move back in um, with people, period, um, and especially your parents. Next, I'm going to get my Awaken Face Scrub from Agresto Beauty. I have to say though, this will definitely be an adjustment for both Chris and I and for my parents because like they're empty nesters. <laughs> and granted the past year, they've had several people live with them from time to time. So it may not be as big of an adjustment for them as it will be for Chris and I, but at the same time, like both of those like instances were very temporary. And this is temporary too, but it's still kind of long-term, at least in our minds. Side note, this scrub is like super hydrating, so you should probably cop this. Next, I'm gonna be toning my face with a double time toner from House Urban. Another cool thing that I've noticed that's like super positive is that 
I have been enjoying all of the people that have been genuinely like happy and supportive of the move. I know not too long ago, moving back in with your parents, especially at this age, um, was definitely stigmatizing. It's like, uh, you're 30 years old, you still don't have a house, you still don't have, you know, a stable income, blah, blah, blah. Like, what are you doing? You're failing. At least in American culture. Next, I'm gonna get my Illuminate Turmeric Clay Mask and mask it up. But the way society is set up right now, like, it makes more fiscal sense if you have the resources and you have the support to kind of go back to your parents' house for a few years, especially depending on the type of career you have. As you all know, both my husband and I are classical musicians. Now, if being musicians wasn't enough, when you throw in classical in there, you're not only not making money, but you're spending money to just be seen. And in an industry that already had a problem with singers actually being employed, having gainful employment in this type of field without breaking the bank or without like being rich and knowing a ton of people, the pandemic has actually made it even more difficult to acquire that type of steady music career. Now, I wanna say surprisingly, but also not, a lot of regional and smaller opera houses and opera companies have made it a point to try to diversify, to adapt to what's going on. There's a lot of virtual options being done at this point in order to keep some singers singing and employed. But at the same time, in a field that was already um, saturated with singers versus how many actual job opportunities there were pre-pandemic. I can imagine that this problem has only worsened post-pandemic or really we're still in the middle of it. Now it's only slightly surprising that the smaller more regional companies have learned how to diversify because they are smaller they've always had to learn how to diversify and adapt. The budgets are much smaller so they have to learn how to make those budgets stretch. But when the pandemic hit, big opera companies, the Met, Lyric Opera of Chicago, like these big opera companies really just shut down. And a lot of what was supposed to be more consistent work, salary jobs, like being in the chorus full time or being in the orchestra, when you're talking about performing as a musician, a lot of those jobs have either taken considerable hits in their benefits, in their payouts, or they're not getting paid at all. Now, what does this say? Well, if the people who were consistently getting paid to be a performing musician at these big companies are not getting paid, what do you think is happening for the people who barely got jobs or who were jumping from job to job just to make a little extra money a month? Currently, I believe that the Met Orchestra is not getting paid. And you know, like musicians, like we know, especially singers, if instrumentalists aren't getting paid, if the orchestra is not getting paid, you know the singers are on the back burner. So this is one of the reasons why we decided it just makes more sense to go back home. We moved to Chicago for Lyric Opera of Chicago. Chris got a job there. We both auditioned for the next season last year, or not the next season coming up, but the, what the next season was supposed to be last year. And then like two weeks after the audition, everything shut down. We stayed in Chicago waiting on a decision from Lyric. They made it seem like things were just postponed and that they were going to put a season together, but ultimately they had to stop. Like they couldn't really put anything together. They were struggling with like the refunds and stuff. And that means anybody that was hired part-time the first time, you are not getting a spot the next time they open up. And we saw a lot of the full-time singers really have to fight alongside AGMA, the singers union, in order to keep health benefits at Lyric. And so with all of that, you know, in the air, we weren't even full-time. It's like, well, what are we here for? Now, Chicago is a lovely city. 
um it does get a lot of flat there's a lot of stigmatization when we're talking about chicago i know that a lot of people were kind of concerned for our safety when we moved to chicago but honestly we have had a pretty decent time here chicago is beautiful great food city um i like the transportation situation a lot better than new york new jersey situation chicago really makes me think of houston to be honest and the way the prices are going up in houston is definitely looking like one of the same it saddens me a bit that most of our time in chicago was in quarantine so the little bit of experiences we did get we really like enjoyed um, outside of like the very beginning because the very beginning was hard but once we got all of our jobs together and we got our feet grounded we did start to enjoy chicago and we started to you know get opportunities get work all right guys i'm going in with my virgin rose eye cream from iel and co so those are the things that we were thinking about when we made this decision yes did we get some virtual opportunity did we retain a lot of music opportunity that we did have you know yes but at the same time it's not enough to justify staying here and paying full rent and you know toughing it out with no certain outcome next i am popping on my spotlight daily skin refining serum from house urban i love this every time you see this when we get back, Chris has decided he wants to teach in a classroom. It is not my ministry per se, but love that for him. I plan on continuing to teach privately. That is more of my strong suit. And I want to build our existing studio, build more um, students, both piano and voice, and, you know, try to make income with our own quote-unquote business. I'm gonna call it a studio because I'm not trying to get a business license right now, but that's essentially what it is. Next, I'm going in with my Pure Rose Hip Seed Oil from Ancient Cosmetics. My bottle is so busted right now, but that is okay. The point is to moisturize the face, not to have the bottle look super cute. It's been exciting being reached out to though by people in both Chicago and Houston to continue or to restart the concert series that we had started before the pandemic like really shut everything down. So it's really nice to like see that people are like, hey, you're moving back to Houston, girl, you wanna get this recital back up? Or hey, we like what you were doing with the recital, can you do that here in Chicago? Next, I'm going in with the Facial Shea Butter from Butter Skin. Ultimately, Chris and I mindset, now that we're going back to Houston, is definitely a more settled down one. It's a, let's plant our roots here. I think it's time. And let's talk about how we're gonna get this house, how we are going to financially support ourselves for most of our life, if not the rest of our life and maybe family but you know what i'm not gonna hold my breath on that one so you shouldn't either <laughs> next i'm getting into my melanin protection sunscreen from Noir skin spf is important guys even if you're inside like it's overcast right now but the sun is still poking out so make sure to protect that skin next i'm going to put on my rockstar lip scrub and scrub these crusty lips all right guys so i want to spruce my face up just a little bit and i'm gonna bring out my tlb or the lip bar um skin glow and i'm going golden glow today normally i would not put a serum on at the very end but i'm kind of looking at this like a finishing serum <laughs> i just made that term up i don't even think that's real but i'm putting this on at the end so i can get that little gold tint just a little bit and lastly i am going to moisturize my lips with the juicy lip balm from the lip bar all right 
Alright guys, so my skin is looking good, it's looking hydrated, looking glowy on this overcast afternoon. Now, I am recording this on a Monday and I work on Mondays, so I'm going to get dressed real quick and then I'm going to come back to you. Alright guys, I am back, dressed for work today. I didn't put any makeup on, just a little bit of mascara and gloss. Definitely giving you a no makeup, just vibe situation. So back to what we were talking about this video, we have decided to move back to Houston. We have decided to move back in with my parents. We have decided to also make arrangements for us to get settled into Houston. And so this is a good thing because we won't be bouncing around, hopefully. Well, hopefully. And um, we can start thinking about the next step in our lives. Now, this decision doesn't mean that we failed. In fact, we have been successful in living our lives the way we wanted to live them for the past, I guess, seven or so years. And so we've made the decision to transition to the next part of our lives. We still plan to perform and are making arrangements to perform. We are still building our studio so we can financially be supported through that and other avenues that we wish to be supported by. And now our sights are set on taking root back in our home with our community, our family, our friends, and hopefully if it goes the way we think it will, um, it will be one of the best transitions we've had in a while. I want to let you guys know if you are in a situation where you feel like you have to move back in with family, friends, a loved one, especially during these circumstances, and you are an adult, there is no shame in that. Things happen, things change. And all you can do is adapt to that change and make the decisions necessary in order to push you forward. We absolutely love our family and friends and have missed them. So this is not the hardest transition in the world for us. And if you have family, friends, or a supportive community that you can go back to when you need to, make sure to utilize that. It makes no sense to struggle on your own when you don't have to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the whole facial situation. You know most of these brands are black owned. I think the only brand that wasn't was the Garnier Micellar Water, but we have House Urban, Agresto Beauty, Ancient Cosmetics, Butter Skin, IL & Co. We stay black owned over here, especially when we're talking about skin. So if you like the outcome of my face or if you liked any of the products I used today, make sure to check these places out and hook yourself up. All right, guys, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video to people you think might be interested. Follow me on my social media so we can be friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye.